You know what that's for? That's for the championship game that technically happened but doesn't win any money already yet. Bad influence, old influence, old influence beats the champion, Du Bois. Oh wait, I should say Aloha. Well, no, you're in the st you're in the mainland now, so. Um, Robert, I mean, yeah, that was the one of the coolest games. Sucks to start the playoffs like that, but having the number four and five seed play each other, who scored both the most points in the league, but Old Influence did have the most points scored in the league. Put it to you, Robert. I mean, he laid down the hammer and didn't let up. Now he's probably going to lay down the hammer on me, too. <laughs> I don't know. Where the heck is it? There we go. Hold on. Hold on. There it is. Okay, so he only gets 23.5 points from Drew Brees, old influence did. Only 23.5, but Le'Veon Bell pulled him out with 54. Matt Forte with 27. And 35 from T.Y. Hilton. And that pulled him to 192 points. He get, Look, he had a crappy game from his quarterback and Mark Ingram. And he still pulls 192 points out. Unreal. The boys has a average good game from Andrew Luck. A good game from Arian Foster. But then the rest of his team just was bleh. And he only gets 122. You're done, Robert. And Mike, you move on. Who are you going to play? Me. Now, I know you have... I'm kind of worried because I did beat you last. So I'm thinking you're probably going to have the upper hand. That sucks. I'm not looking forward to this. I hope I can pull it out. I've had a bad week. I've had two really bad weeks of fantasy football in a row so far. I've gotten... Knocked out of the playoff. Well, I went to the playoffs in my three online leagues last week, and then I lost all three playoff games. So I didn't win a dime. I was so pissed. I couldn't win just one. And then in my other league, I got killed. But enough of me. Who cares about talking about me, right? Except for me. I mean, come on. Aloha, David. You put up a good year, and then you laid an egg when it mattered. 92 points is what you could muster up yesterday. All because of Peyton Manning. I mean, I, are you a Peyton Manning fan still? Because he just basically said, screw you, David. I'm not going to play that well. Eight and a half points is all Peyton Manning could muster up. Eight and a half. Look at it like this. If Peyton Manning would have put up a normal game and got you 30 points, you would have won. Just a normal game, an average normal game from Peyton. 30 points. I mean, that's not asking too much from Peyton. And you would have won. But you didn't. Peyton screwed him, screwed you, okay? Reggie Bush, he's been Reggie Bush like that all year this year. Rashad Jennings, I was shocked he didn't play as much as he should have. But Jonathan Stewart did step it up. His first game this year, he actually did really good. It was for nothing. Gronkowski was typical Gronkowski. Our competitive though. With Aaron Rodgers, and uh, he had somebody else, didn't he? Mason Crosby, last night. Pulled him through and got the win. So, Steve, congratulations. You're moving on. You, Steve, are moving on to play against, not me, not yet. You're going to play TD Racing, the number one seed, who, on his bye week, got 197 points on his bye week. How about this? Travis, in the toilet bowl for his bye week, he scored 199 points on his bye week. Wow. <laughs> the toilet bowl players were Gilkison beating Fester, Dragon Balls getting schlacked by Mark. But I don't think Craig cares because he's focusing his attention on his other leagues that he's in the playoffs and the real playoffs. So, um, anyhow, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, this is kind of an interesting little fun fact. Fun fact. I have four leagues I run. Three of the four leagues, the number six seed has upset the number three seed 
in three of the four leagues for the regular playoffs. And then in the toilet bowl, I think three of the six seeds also upset, or yeah, three of the six seeds also upset the number three seed. That is weird. I've never seen so many uh, major upsets like that. So, O'Reilly, me versus you. Here we go. Factory of Sadness, you're done. So, Oakham Fugitives will now play TD Racing. Tom, it's time to work. Let's get to the championship game. I wouldn't mind playing you. Uh, there is two weeks left of the Pickums, just to let you know. Du Bois is on top by one point with me and Josh one point behind them. Two weeks left, Robert. Can you hold on, or are you going to let one of us other guys win? You know, just saying. Why don't you let us other win? You've won enough money in the past. Let some other guys win. And, uh, oh, the Chiefs game? Yeah. That was awesome going to the Cardinals game. I like how the, the where the stadium for the Cardinals is set up because they, like they have like a power and light district like right next to the stadium. So that's I think that's why they don't really have big – they're not big on tailgating because they got like eight restaurants, maybe even more than that, like literally next door to the stadium. It's, and they open up early. They open up I think at like 9 or 10 o'clock for uh, game day. So that was pretty cool. But I was pretty pissed about the game because the refs suck. The Chiefs play calling really ticked me off. We kept running and running and running, and that's great. But we, I guarantee we would have caught him off guard if you would have done a play action and threw it downfield to, I don't even care, throw it to Jason Avant. Just throw a freaking 25 to 35-yard play action pass and see if we can actually do something with it. It's getting so sick of these little 5 and 10-yard throws. Seriously, throw, catch him off guard. Do a big play. I was kind of glad the ref screwed us because I'm tired of these, I'm tired of the play calls. It's like, yes, we're running the ball. Everyone knows it. Stop running it and throw it deep one. Anyway, that's it. Chiefs are pretty much screwed. They got to beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Come on, that ain't gonna happen. All right, see you later.